Hi, and welcome back to Yoga with Tim. Today's video is yoga for cyclists. So I recommend having a couple of blocks, and this is just gonna help you to access some of the poses better. Let's begin in a child's pose. So this sequence is for after you've um, done some cycling. It's not to be done right before as a warm up. Um, in fact, I have a warm up video, which I'll put the link below. It's a great way to mobilize your body so that you'd be less prone to injury. But this is for after or at some other time in the day, uh, not right before you run. You don't want to do, not right before you spin or ride your bike. Um, that will make you more prone to injury if you stretch out. Okay, so sit back onto your heels, stretch your arms all the way forward, and let your body start to stretch and open up here. The hips stretch back, reach out through your fingers. Then lift your gaze towards your hand, reach your heart towards your hands, and slide your hands over to the right. Bend your right arm like a kickstand, and then start to gently turn your chest as you reach into the left hand. So we're opening up into the lats, the side ribs, that get really tight from being hunched over and gripping the bars. Come back to center and change sides. So as someone who used to ride like usually, I think I was riding like 50 miles a day. Um, I really know how tight the body can get and the, the spots that get really tight. So we're gonna focus on those spots and trying to get the spine to start to open up from the rounded position that it gets stuck in. Come back to center. Then come onto your hands and your knees. And let's do some cat-cow to start to warm up your spine and mobilize. Round your back as you look back. And inhale, arch your back, lay your heart forward. Now to get some stretch for the wrists and for the forearms, because of all the time gripping the handle, we can try to turn the hand out to the side so that the thumbs point out to the side. And this might be enough stretch, or you might be able to turn the hands all the way around. And then let's do two more rounds of cat-cow with the hands reversed. And then release that. Turn the hands around, take your right hand behind your left wrist, and keeping your hips level, start to slide the hand over to the left. Come back up and change sides. Slide your left hand behind your right wrist over to the right. Come back to center and stretch back into downward dog with knees bent. So we'll do this variation of down dog because of the tendency for the hamstrings to be really tight. So you're just looking to get extension, length through your spine. And then walk your feet forward. Give your knees a bend, grab a hold of your elbows and let your head drop. Let the lumbar decompress. Then come up to stand. As you inhale, spread your arms, raise your arms up, and we're just gonna do a little flow here. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. 
Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, come all the way back up. Raise your arms. Exhale, arms down at your side. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Bend the knees as much as you need to to really get a flat back. Slide up as much as you need to. Exhale, fold deeper. Now plant your hands and step back into a plank. Engage your core muscles, but reach your sternum forward. Then lie down onto your belly and stretch your arms all the way forward. Decompress your spine, reach past your toes, reach past your fingers. And then keeping all that length, raise your right leg up just an inch and your left hand up just an inch without your left upper trap taking over. Change sides. Change sides. Waking up the muscles in the back. Change sides. And then lower your hand on your foot. Bend your elbows into cactus position and then turn on your external rotators. So all the time spent hunched over the handlebars tends to make the internal rotators really strong, which makes our shoulders kind of want to round over. So as we engage the muscles in the back of the shoulder, lift the hands up, squeeze the muscles in the back of the armpit, but then stretch the back of your skull forward. Then stretch your arms straight back behind you and feel the inner arms get longer. The front of the shoulders lift away from the floor. Then spread your arms straight out to the side. Reach as wide as you can. Place your hands next to your chest. Inhale, roll your chest forward. Hold here. Lower your heart back down. Come up onto your hands and your knees and stretch back into child's pose. Feel the hip flexors release back into the stretch. And then come up onto your hands and your knees. Step your right foot up to your right thumb. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, bend your elbows out to the side. Cactus position. Take your arms back up and bring your hands back down. Change sides. Left foot forward. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, cactus position. Inhale, arms back up. Hands back down. Change sides. Now, if it's difficult to get the foot up in between the hands through those transitions, you can just use the blocks. Now curl your back toes and lift your back knee up. As you draw your right thigh bone back into the hip socket, stretch your back leg, lengthen to your spine. Then plant your left hand down and twist. Take your right arm up. Bring your hand back down, change legs. Plant your right hand down and twist. Take your left arm up. Bring your hand back down, lower your knee down. Stretch back. And then come up onto your hands and your knees. Step up to the front of your mat. And come all the way up to stand. Now we're going to do just a couple of standing poses and then we'll go back to the ground and do some more opening poses. So the, the first one that I'd like you to practice is tree pose. Bring your right heel up onto your left thigh and raise your arms up. Mm -hmm. 
seal the heel into the thigh, seal the thigh into the heel, and feel a stretch from your right inner leg towards your knee, but keep your lower back and your ribs tall. Bring your arms back down, change legs, place your left heel up onto the inside of your right thigh. If your hips are too tight and you need to keep it below the knee, that's fine, but don't ju just don't put your heel right on your knee, right above or below. Then bring your arms back down, and we'll do a couple of poses to encourage this opening of the hips more. Let's come into side angle pose. Bend your right knee, forearm onto your thigh, stretch your left arm over. So you're getting a nice side body stretch here, opening for the hips. Change sides. Inhale back up. Now parallel your feet. We'll get into the hamstrings now. Oh, hamstrings of steel, set the fingertips down. Inhale into a flat back. Now if you need to use a block to get a flat back, then use a block to get a flat back. Stretch your chest forward. Open up through the four corners of your feet. Good, then from here, walk your hands over towards your right foot. And if the floor is too hard to get to, you can just bring the block over. Get a little side body opening here as we stretch through the lateral edge of the leg. Change sides, take the hands or the block over towards the left. Come back to center, and then walk your hands around to the top of your mat, and set your knees down. Bring your right foot up to your right hand, blocks on the tall height, bring your left hip back over top of your knee, and then let's start to slide your left foot forward with the foot plantar flexed. So it's important that we keep the ankles, the feet healthy, because this is gonna help with the health of your knees, the health of your hip, and your lower back. So try to stretch through all the toes down into the floor as you reach your heart forward. Then slide your heel a couple more inches forward and dorsiflex your foot. So we'll get the stretch going the other way. Move your right thigh bone deeper into the hip socket, but reach through your right big toe mound like you're pressing into a gas pedal. and slowly release that stretch. Change sides. Hips back over the knee, wiggle the foot forward with the foot flex, plantar flex. Then slide your heel forward a couple more inches, pull the toes back towards you. Feel the thigh bone move deeper into the hip socket, lift from your navel up to your heart, heart forward. and release. Change sides, right foot forward, and then we're gonna come into a lunge. So as you let your hips start to melt forward towards your heel, reach down through the left shin, lift your heart up.
and change size. Then release that. Now with your knees down, curl your toes under as best you can, all 10 of your toes if possible. And then start to stretch your buttocks back towards your heels. Keep opening up the soles of your feet. Maybe bring your hands onto your thighs. And maybe even upright yourself over your heel. But if it's too much on your feet, you just work at your edge. All right, then release that. And I'd like us to get a little bit of supported thoracic extension. I'm gonna show it over a block, but it would be best to do it over a foam roller, something that's round, if you have like a cushion or a couch to roll over with your upper back. But we're just gonna take whatever you got into your upper back and then hands behind your head. And as you inhale, you'll start to arch back, roll your chest over. And as you exhale, do a little roll back up. Inhale to roll over, and this time we'll hold. So let the prop be received through the back of your body towards your heart, let the heart open towards the ceiling. And you can try with the elbows wide apart, opening up the chest, the internal rotators. Bring the elbows in towards each other. And then roll yourself back up. That should feel really nice for your spine. Now the uh, final uh, series that we're gonna practice is gonna feel really good for your outer hips, especially those tight butt muscles there and the piriformis. So cross your right ankle over your left knee and bring your hands to the back of your left leg. Now, if your hips are really tight, you can do this with your left foot against the wall so that you're not struggling to hold your leg in. It'll just look like that. Foot against the wall, arms out to the side. Otherwise, you can hold the back of the leg if your hips are relatively open. Then change the cross of your legs. And feel your hip crease and your hips like they're being released out of your lower back away from you as you let your shoulder heads relax back down towards the floor. Then set that foot down, change the cross of the legs, arms out to the side, let your legs fall over to the left as you soften the navel back into the spine. Should feel really nice for your lower back, for your chest. Let the shoulders spread. Come back to center. Change the cross of your legs and let your legs fall over to the left. Right, sorry. Then come back to center, hug your knees into your chest, and if possible, reach onto the insides of your knees, take your big toes. So this little squat variation or uh, happy baby is really good for your hips and for your lower back to start to open up. But make sure that you're feeling like if I had a rope across your hips, I'd be pulling your hips away from your lower back, release the hips down.
and then set your feet down onto the ground and relax here. Take a few conscious breaths to let your body open up. And just feel how after you stretch, like you get the, you get the endorphin rush and the good energy from kind of like the high from the ride. But you'll notice now that you have this increased sense of inner energy, the connection to the energy in the body, just from spending some time taking care of and stretching it. It's not as strong as the feeling you get from riding, but it's a very healing energy. So just feel it helping to balance out your body. Then roll to your side. Press yourself up to seated. And bring your palms together. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me. If you like the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment below and uh, let me know if you found it helpful. Um, if you have any questions about the stretches, let me know. And uh, I love hearing back from you. Last thing, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And it's also the best way to support the channel if that's something you're into. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.